Hi everyone, it's Baldrick here, and in today's episode, I'm going to be covering whether it's worth getting a gaming monitor in 2015. So, when I got my gaming monitor, which is the BenQ XL 2720Z, it was really the best I could get at the time. It does have pretty good features. It hits a 144Hz refresh rate. It's got a 1 millisecond response time, which is really good. I never noticed any lag with it. And it looks pretty decent for a TN panel. It's obviously 27 inches and 1080p. Some may say that 1080p at 27 inches isn't that great, but me personally, for games, I find it awesome. Anyway, let's get into the topic. So, what are the pros of getting a gaming monitor in 2015? Well, the first thing you're going to get, depending on the monitor, most of them have refresh rates of 144Hz to now, so that's what you'd really want to be looking out for. 144Hz is going to give you the smoothest gaming experience. Anything over that is really... It would be better, but nothing can really run anything over 144 frames a second, which is really hard to get on itself, so there's no point going anywhere above that, like 240Hz, unless you really can, like, unless you've got a ridiculous amount of graphics power. Anyway, uh, let's just keep it at 144 for now. So it's got really good response times, or generally they do, they vary. You get 120Hz, you get 90Hz even, can be gaming monitors. As long as it's a fair bit over 60, it's usually classified as a gaming monitor. Anyway, another thing is they've got really good response time, so anything under about 4 milliseconds response is pretty good for a gaming monitor, and it's not really going to impact you in any way, but having really fast refresh, not refresh rates, uh, response times like 1 millisecond is probably what you want to be aiming for in 2015. And then you've got gamer-orientated features such as blur reduction and the newest one being G-Sync and FreeSync. So that's basically like vertical sync except it doesn't give you a big performance hit when you go under the target frame rate. It basically syncs the monitor's refresh rate to your frame rate, giving it the smoothest possible experience even at lower frame rates, making it feel like, say you're hitting 40 frames a second, it makes that feel like it's... 60 frames a second plus but if you're getting a gaming monitor generally you don't really want to be that low you want to be in the 100 frames per second plus range but it does have that benefit for lesser in intense games where you can just laze around it doesn't really matter how fast your response time is but it does help to give you a smooth experience so that's really about it for the pros of gaming monitors. Obviously, they give you a competitive edge when you're playing games. That I definitely noticed as soon as I got mine. I found that I play a lot better on my monitor than other monitors. It helps make you a better player, but you can still be a really good player on any monitor generally. But it just gives you that teeny boost that will help you win the game. So now let's get on to the cons. Gaming monitors are unfortunately way overpriced for what they do. And that's just because they've got gaming in their name. Any any gaming peripheral is going to be overpriced, and you can't really do much about that, which is unfortunate, but that's sort of the price to pay if you're going to get the top gaming monitor. Another thing is that a lot of them are TN panels, including mine. That means that the color reproduction isn't the best on them. If you're going to be watching movies, you can, but you're better off with an IPS panel. But some of the gaming monitors coming out now are actually coming with IPS panels. They've got slightly higher response times, but they're still hitting like 144 hertz, which is awesome to see. So if you can find one of those monitors for a really good price, definitely get one of them as long as you can run the 1440p resolution with them. And most of them are also 1080p. So a lot of you might not like that resolution. I personally think it's a great resolution. A lot of games are designed to run at 1080p. Everything is optimized for any higher. It does work for 1440p, but you need to have a pretty beast graphic setup to run that. Anyway, uh, what else? You need a high-end graphics card to be able to run these monitors to their full potential. So you're looking in at having pretty much the top-end graphics card if you're on a gaming monitor. Otherwise, you're sort of wasting your money. 
and some games don't even allow you to take full effect of the monitor's features such as G-Sync, FreeSync, and even hitting 144Hz, just because of crap game optimization. So do I think it's worth getting a gaming monitor? If you're really serious about playing your games and you want the smoothest experience, yes I am serious that you should get one, it's just the best thing that I've ever encountered in gaming. I haven't used G-Sync yet because I'm not going to spend thousand dollars on a new monitor when mine's perfectly fine but I'm sure if you can find one with G-Sync that would be really awesome. So that's really about it for this video. Uh, obviously I wouldn't recommend gaming monitors if you're going to be doing other stuff such as video editing or photoshopping. Even though I do it with my gaming monitor it's because I don't really have much of a choice. I'm not going to spend another eight hundred dollars on an IPS panel just for that because my video editing isn't very professional compared to what other people might be doing. I don't need to really see the best colors for my YouTube videos because I've customized my color correction for my gameplay pretty well, so that's really all I need it for. It does a good job at that. To be honest, my gaming monitor does have pretty good color reproduction. It's better than my other model monitor which is also a TN but it's really good for a TN panel so you can obviously get crap TN panels and good TN panels. Mine is on the pretty good side because I find the colors really good and my friend's IPS panel looks... you can't really tell too much of a difference. You can definitely tell a difference but for gaming I sort of prefer my monitor to be honest. So yeah that's really about it for this video. If you can afford one, get one. That's really my recommendation. If you're serious about gaming, get one as well. So thanks for watching this video, I really appreciate it, remember to have a nice day, and see you later.